Hi parents, so I just wanted to shoot a video and have something of a wisdom talk uh, about YouTube and both the challenges we have as parents um, in our digital era and also the challenges I'm facing with my current YouTube channel. So let me start by saying that we started the channel, I don't know, maybe four years ago or something with the idea that we would reach kids around the world. And it started with being a blessing to our missionaries, uh, those that that couldn't join us for Calvary Kids on Then We Were Doing Wednesday Nights. I could upload the videos and they could watch them weekly. Missionaries started using them as their Sunday morning um, kid stuff because a lot of the services met in homes or in a small building and the kids would be in a separate room and, and watch the videos and several still do that now. And even church plants in the U.S. have been doing that. And then it started branching out to where um, kids who were plugged in, who had heard me speak at camp and whatever, um, were, were able to watch the preaching videos and the fun videos and things. And then it started getting bigger to where I don't even know where a lot of the watchers come from and subscribers come from. Uh, just this past week, I had somebody uh, say hi from India and a subscriber from Africa and another subscriber from India. and. Um, my channel is by no means large. It's actually rather small. We're not yet at a thousand subscribers, but um, but our goal has always been to reach kids worldwide. And so that's been my dream with this for a while. And we invested a lot into it with, with really no return. Uh, we've invested thousands of dollars in equipment. Um, the mic I'm using now, the lighting equipment. Um, I built a computer. Uh, we have dual monitors for editing, we have sound panels and, and all kinds of things and somebody graciously uh, donated money for our camera. So that's the camera you're seeing now and it's, it's really nice. But you know, I need uh, headphones and speakers for audio editing and things like that. So anyway, we've invested a lot in this channel with really no return, thinking that you know when we get to a thousand subscribers perhaps we could uh, monetize the channel and we'd at least get something back at that point. Not much, I mean really it'd just be like a few dollars here and there, literally a few dollars here and there. The only people that make money on YouTube are the are the really big channels. But we didn't do it to make money. I was just hoping it would offset the cost and our ministry could grow and things like that. The disappointing part is recently YouTube changed their terms and conditions. You know how those things are when they say we've updated our terms and conditions and there's like 87 pages of fine print and you just don't feel like reading it all and you don't think you'd understand it even if you did. Well, in those updated terms and conditions, what they started doing is showing commercials on channels that are not monetized. So my channel's never been monetized, but now they're starting to show commercials on my channel. And unfortunately, some of those commercials are not kid-friendly. Some of the video game channels and, and products for adults to use and things like that. And um, that's, that's disturbing because I never gave them permission. However, they own the platform. And so essentially they're monetizing my channel um, and that's unfortunate, but that's, you know, that's corporate America and greed and all that stuff. So until now, from my understanding, once I do get a thousand subscribers and we're not that far off and I get a certain watch time, like there, your, your channel has to have a certain number of watch minutes in the last 12 months. Once you do that, we start, they start a, the process of, you know, becoming a, a paid partner or whatever they call it where um, you can like so you receive ad, re ad revenue and from that point you can control which ads you don't want on your channel for example I wouldn't want video game ads on my channel or I wouldn't want gambling ads or alcohol ads on my channel but as of right now I can't control anything um, like that so first if you could help me get to a thousand subscribers that'd be great with uh, with enough minutes so make sure your kids get to tune in and watch however it would be very wise for you to you start the video because ads normally happen at the beginning of videos at the end of videos and so you know after the five seconds you can click the skip and then um, and then you're, you can pause it and then your kids can watch um, but as parents I think we really need to keep an eye on that so that's the first thing I wanted to do, just share with you a channel update. Um, our plans were to start a second channel and market as 
for kids only. Like you can mark a thing that says for children only. Um, I would do that with my whole channel, but the problem with that is that YouTube then buries your channel because they don't make money on it now. So they just bury it. It doesn't get suggested to other people's feeds. I wouldn't be gaining new subscribers worldwide and reaching kids, which is the purpose of what I'm doing in the first place. You, you don't even get notifications when, even if you're a subscriber, you don't, you wouldn't get notifications when I upload my, my videos. Um, most of my content is geared toward older kids, like fourth to sixth grade. And it's good to do things like live stream and have a community so they can answer trivia questions on my live stream and stuff. But all that goes away when you mark your channel as a kids only channel. So I've been wrestling back and forth and I thought, well, I'll start a brand new channel that's kids only and I'll, up I'll upload all my younger kids content like preschool, first, second grade type of content. The problem is YouTube, uh, I just found out, will delete my new channel and possibly my old one because for them, duplicate content is like a big no-no. So if you have, so if I upload my God Is series to the younger kids channel, which it's made for younger kids, because it's duplicate content, they could delete my channel and all the content. So it's like, oh. so here's what, here's the plan for now. The plan for now is let's get to a thousand subscribers. Will you help me? Let's get enough minutes watched. Will you help me? Um, share these playlists with, with anybody you can. Our, our most recent playlist is Know Your Bible, Know Your God. Kids everywhere will benefit from this because kids are not getting this kind of teaching. I, I, I wade through the mounds of kids' curriculum and it's so surfacy and it's so soft and it's so void of the gospel. This is something that could really benefit kids worldwide. So please, if, if you'd help me with this, share my channel. Okay, second, uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to... We'll never have full control over the ads that we see, but how to make it as safe as possible for the kids. So open up your YouTube page and sign in and follow along with me and and I'll help you uh, control those ads uh, to the best of our abilities and you know nothing is totally safe the only safe thing would be to not do anything on a computer for real that's the only completely safe thing is that realistic probably not so we just have to use an exercise wisdom so open up your channel and follow along with me and I'm going to, I'm not going to go super slow because you can pause it or you can scrub backwards and, and rewatch it. But um, I'm going to this share my screen with you. Um, this is what, let me pull this down here. This is what I am seeing on my computer. So up here, I have my icon right there. I'm going to click on my icon. I'm going to turn on restricted mode. This it says this helps hide potentially mature videos. No filter is 100% accurate. This setting only applies to this browser and you'll activate restricted mode. And again, it's not 100%, but it will help potentially harmful videos. This doesn't help with the ads, but this helps with potentially harmful videos showing up on your kids uh, YouTube channel. We're going to go to settings. We're going to go to view or change your Google account settings because YouTube is owned by Google. So all of their ad stuff is like connected to each other. Then we're gonna go to privacy and personalization. Now's the part where you can go to add personalization. Now you're gonna want to make sure that that's on. Now the reason that is, is if you, if you click off, you won't be able to manage your ad personalization. They're just gonna send you random ads and it's just gonna be straight up random. We're gonna go to add settings. And now we're going to Look at all of this stuff here, okay? Google knows I'm male and it knows how old I am. <laughs> so you can go down and turn off any of these ads. You can turn, I would turn off ads for action adventure film, any video games I would turn the ads off for. I've seen mobile games. I've seen some terrible ads for mobile games. So I would turn all of those off. I would turn off apparel because you don't know what kind of apparel that is. Uh, you can just go down here and you can just turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off. Casual games, turn off. I would just go down and just 
turn a bunch of stuff off. If you want to turn everything off, you can turn everything off. I see family films. Maybe you want to turn that off. I don't know. Um, let's see. Coming down here, I see homeschooling. We homeschool. It just collects data from us. I would turn off movies, music and audio, multimedia software. There are some for things like nightclubs, alcohol, gambling, things like that. S swimwear. I who knows what that means that could mean something really risque bikini contest i don't know what but i would just go through and just like click 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 and then this this one kind of disturbs me and it's something that we need i'll pull myself i'll pull this over so you can see it like this um is that you can't anymore turn off the alcohol and the uh, gambling anymore right here and right here you can't turn those off anymore you can quote see fewer I don't know what that means like it, it doesn't say turn off I think it used to say turn off now it just says I don't know how much seeing fewer is but I would click on those see fewer and then you just um, all of that is automatically saved. You can do all that and then and then you have a little more control over it. Again, um, because of it's, because it's run by Google, it's not going to be 100% safe for your kids, unfortunately. Um, so as a parent, you have to make the ultimate decision. Are you going to just straight up say no YouTube? Um, you can. And, or you can say only when I'm in the room, you can say only if I start the video so I can skip the ads, whatever. Just be super careful about that. So hope that was helpful. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was would you um, partner with us in this ministry? Would you would you share the videos, the, the playlist? If one in particular has been a blessing to you or to your kids, uh, would you put it up, share it in social media or however you do that and just say, hey, this was a blessing to us. We hope it'll be a blessing to you. Keep watching the channel if you can. Help us with those minutes. Always leave a thumbs up on every video. That helps the YouTube algorithm say, oh, people are interested in this video. Therefore, we're gonna push it to more viewers. And that's what we wanna do ultimately. Push it to more viewers, be a blessing to people all around the world. So thanks for joining me for this video. And if you have any questions, let me know. I will put my email address in the description box down below also. Have a great day.